Disabilities, a day that aims to promote the rights and well-beings of persons with disabilities in society. And tonight we're looking into just how accessible some of Canada's largest cities are thanks to a recent survey that was released and the findings may surprise you. From accessible parking availability to elevators and automatic doors, for some, these are crucial to get by in everyday life. I'm a wheelchair user and I was really frustrated with not being able to find information about where I was going. You know, I would show up somewhere, there'd be steps at entrances and those types of barriers are quite common. Mayon Ziv is the CEO of Access Now, a Canadian-based organization that works as a platform by providing accessibility information. They conducted a survey using people with lived experience to see how accessible some of Canada's most populated cities actually are. Unfortunately, although to no surprise, uh, roughly over 60% of spaces um, were not really truly deemed accessible. The focus of the study called Mapping Our Cities for All looked at primarily consumer-facing street-level public businesses in Vancouver, Calgary and Ottawa as well as 17 small rural Alberta towns. This could be anything from an automatic uh, button on a door that opens uh, to an accessible washroom. But we also looked at things like gender neutral washrooms or you know, counter heights. We looked at uh, lighting levels and, and sound levels. While the study didn't include the greater Toronto area, Access Now provides a free crowdsourcing mobile app that collects and shares accessibility information. On their website, about 210,000 Toronto buildings are included. Of that, 25,909 were considered fully accessible. Just over 177,000 were partially accessible, while 6,567 buildings got a red thumbs down on the map categorized as not accessible. We selected three cities to start, and our goal is to continue with the SMOCA initiative to eventually be able to give a measurement of every Canadian city. Ziv says the federal government has a lot of work to do in order to meet its goals under the Accessible Canada Act of removing barriers for people with disabilities by 2040. In Ontario, advocates say we're also falling short of the provincial goal under the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act to have a universally accessible province by 2025. Here we are, just a little over a year away. We're nowhere close. And our current government, under Doug Ford, has absolutely no plan of action uh, to lead us there. So we look at the International Day for people with disabilities is the day when we look to the Ford government and say, when will you drop the platitudes and start serious new bold action? Melissa Nakavali, City News.